Sable agents. Just who I didn't want to see. Greetings, true believers, and welcome back to Spider-Man. Today we are going to get back to the main storyline, we're going to head to the Feast Center, but of course first we have to take out some trash. I'd imagine my permanent record isn't looking too great right now. And with that, we will go and have a chat with Aunt May. Right over here. Until Miles gets back, the best thing we can do is keep everyone fed. Oh, Peter, it is so good to see you. How are you? Healthy? I'm good. How are you holding up, May? Good, but busy. Oh, let me go. <coughs> Oh, there. <coughs> I'm okay. Didn't you tell me something once about accepting that I'm human just like everyone else? You and Ben. <coughs> Masters at turning my own words against me. I am fine, Peter. Just a little rundown. Where's Miles? Could he help out? No, he is. He's off picking up medical supplies from the relief center. It's amazing how quickly we go through antibiotics. Okay, you stay off your feet for a bit. I'll organize the unloading and check in with Miles. Deal? Deal. Give me a chance to nurse my wounded Parker pride. Come on, Miles, answer. Don't make me worry about you and me. Found his head made when the big guy hit him? Like a bug on a windshield. Splat. All because he made one stupid crack about the guy's suit. Freaking intense. Dude's got issues, man. Big ones. And now if this big guy they are referring to is who we think it is... Well, personally I would not be making any cracks about his suit whatsoever. I would be very cordial with him at all times. Hacking app should work. Who's there? Got a few seconds. But I guess nobody ever accused these guys of being smart. Should be able to hop that wall. Could have been the wind. <clears throat> Medical containers in that tent. Maybe this will be easy. Anybody can see the way he came through here? This guy's like an animal. Both of them are. Glad they're on our side. You two, get over here! All right, all right, already. Goss? Iodine? But no antibiotics. I need to keep looking. Well, that would have been too simple. Obviously, we have to hack this drone here to distract this guy. I heard that. We can also hear these convicts kinda interrogating slash beating up some Sable agents around. This can stop right now. Just give us the locations and schedules for your supply lines. More supplies over there. Need to get past these guys. Must have lead chains. I hate watching Benson Wayne. Turns my stomach. Just give us the info. Hello? Stop. Anybody there? Don't have clearance for that. Oh, um, look. That's not what Benson wants to hear. Stupid tin man! Why are the super dudes so set on taking out these relief centers? Something about Osborne. They want to show how weak he is, that he can't protect the city. I thought so. As long as they let us keep all the supplies we find, I don't care. Yeah, man. This stuff will be worth a fortune on the black market. Let's keep digging through it. Sable guys give up the depot locations? Eventually, yeah. Now the big guy's taking the stations out all by himself. Give us a walk in the A-bomb. 
Nothing. That Russian blood, man, makes me crazy. That's offensive. My grandma's Russian. Your grandma? Doesn't that mean you're Russian too? No, man, don't talk about my family, all right? Hey, who's there? Another supply tent. Oh, crossing fingers. Like A couple trauma kits. Supplies. No antibiotics. Gotta be somewhere. Oh boy. They better not try to short us. Hey, you guys better not try to short us. Bro, relax. Everybody gets a take. Nobody's trying to short you. That's just what they say when they're trying to short you. Dude, please don't embarrass me. Chill, please. I'm watching these jokers. I'm watching them. Right, so up ahead we have another convict as well as a sniper up top there on some crates. Can't get through there. Gotta avoid that sniper. I heard that! Now this took me a while and a, and a couple of attempts because I thought we had to actually distract the sniper. We just... Really all we had to do was just get, well, go below his, his sniper beam, so that was a little bit confusing. Everybody's staying off the streets. Oh, come on, Crate, be the one. Oh, Moxicillin. Perfect. That is a damn large man. On the exploding bulldozer. Supply needs some schedule. Now! Gastazal! Gentlemen, I apologize. My associate is. inelegant. He doesn't understand the fine art of persuasion. Stop! <gasps> Not need to see that. What was that? Check it. Now. Don't think he saw me. Time to get out of here. Maybe I can sniff beneath him. We are having fun with lights now? I will have fun with your face! Come out! And I promise not to crush you! You've seen a couple of slightly awkward cuts in this because, well, this is kind of trial and error. And it's pretty easy to fail. And by the way, if you do fail, he just kind of stomps on you. Which, of course, is something that we really do not want. But for your health, for one. I can 
container. That's my exit. We could have squeezed past that. Mistake, kid. You can't just push people around like that. Or what? Like this? <laughs> Kids right. got guts. Hip squared. What the hell's he saying? Not gonna be saying anything in a second. <laughs> oh! I'm good, kid. You want a taste? I gotta work on my fight banner. Miles? Hey, I've been trying to reach you. You okay? Hey, so, uh, don't freak out, but, um, I gotta fill you in on some stuff. Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri, figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. it suspicious that this rhino person always knocks down buildings and tears up roads which someone ends up making money rebuilding am i suggesting a conspiracy you're damn right now if you've seen the man testify in court you know the rhino is too stupid to plan anything himself so who's the mastermind well who else is always there supposedly fighting Rhino, but actually leading him around like a red cape does a bull. Say it with me, Spider-Man! You know, that's not such a bad idea. Maybe we should suggest it to old Rhino once we meet him. my size folk. Or maybe we could 
could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Needs an end! I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. And yeah, it's pretty obvious what we're supposed to do here. We need to pull down one of these big objects and send them crashing down on him, and then we can punch him. But I'm kind of screwing up the timing. I always like this suit. So distinctive. Be thankful, folk. Without you, I make less trouble for you. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this fight. It involves a lot of waiting around. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Captain, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! So now Scorpion has joined the mix, and it doesn't really change the fight all that much. Most of the time you'll still be avoiding Rhinos, um, him throwing stuff at you and trying to hit him with all these big objects. You just get Scorpion sometimes shooting poison at you. So you guys and Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about the Wee Murder Spider-Man who used his corpse for a blank? Dick! Target, please! You embarrass yourself! That does at least sound better than the Insidious Six. We kind of want to focus on Scorpion here. I'll take care of you after I finish the fight. Get him, you idiot! Get him! Come down the health Guys, please! There's plenty of me to go around. Because Rhino, we can deal with pretty easily, and Scorpion is just there to kind of complicate things. But if we can get a hit in on Rhino, we might as well take it. Rhino's getting his suit removed. What did Octavius promise you, Scorpion? Untrue. I'd rip Spider-Man's face off for free. The money. I am pretty sure that we can go and punch Scor Scorpion when he gets knocked down by Rhino, but I just didn't quite manage it because, well, he's kind of far away. We fail because of you, Guardian. You will know the pain this group can cause. Try it, Red Menace. Hell. Maybe I'll just pull you out of the suit myself. Ah! Hard to feel like I don't even need to be here. You guys want to sort this out yourself? And webs, of course, still work perfectly fine on Scorpion. But yeah, not a whole lot else to say about this fight. Also, that rock hit us mid-animation, we can't really do anything about it. We could just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? 
There is fun in that. Okay, come on. Rhino stun. It's time for fists of fury. Oh, come here, Carlos. I will teach you to throw real punch. My jaws already absorbed that particular lesson. Thanks. Didn't I hear you took a poetry class in the raft? Like a therapy thing? Do you know what Octavius will do if he finds out you failed? I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Right, so next time we have some more sneaking around to look forward to. I will see you then.